All right, what's going on guys? D Legend here today. We have another Dawn of Majesty booster box opening. We're gonna be opening up this box. This is my fifth box of Dawn of Majesty, I wanna say. And I pulled two Starlights already, which is absolutely insane. Um, we pulled Anti um, Human Intelligence Messiah, as well as Sword Soul. So I am really happy with those pulls and I'm really happy with the set overall. Um, obviously not the greatest time to be opening up this set with the new Megatons that just got released, um, yesterday, I guess, but, um, just gotta do it because I want to pull Stardust Dragon in Starlight Rare. That is the goal of opening up this set this, at this point in time. I know it's one point, um, one per 1.25 case or one, one per 2.5 cases per Starlight. And then there's five Starlights, so it's going to take about, like, what, 12 cases to pull the Starlight you actually want. However, um, we're going to keep trying, I guess, for the time being, while these boxes are still relatively cheap and affordable. Let's see if we can do it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in more Yu-Gi-Oh! content like this. And uh, definitely leave a like and uh, leave a comment telling me your favorite modern set because this is definitely not um the greatest set of all time but it's a really cool set because it does feature stardust dragon b trooper formation and um yeah so i have my two stardust dragons there um two high rarity stardust dragons collector's rare from tomb chaos and the collectible tins wave one so the first ever five v's tin um, let's see if we can match them up with a Starlight Stardust. So we have our first Ultra Rare of the Bucks. It is Gizmek Naganaki, the Sunrise Signaler. So that's not the worst pull, I guess. I don't know anything about this set or anything that's good, other than branded opening <clears throat> as a super rare that's really quite pricey. Um, it hit $20 at one point, which is insane. I think it's down to like six or seven maybe lower than that because it might be reprinted in the tens i don't know um but this is a decent pull as well i think it might have come out in the tens as a secret rare though so um yeah not a lot of good bulk in this a lot of the commons are just not the greatest but with the, let's just keep going with the hope that we can actually pull stardust stall turn I mean, I really don't see it happening. Like, what are the odds we pull three Starlights out of the same set out of five boxes, right? So, obviously the boxes all came from different places. Um, the last box I got actually was part of a collection. Ooh, our first secret rare, Bee Trooper Scout Buggy. So not the greatest one at this point in time, but when it was released, it was actually a pretty solid secret. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the first box I opened I think I won in a giveaway actually from card brawlers the second box I probably ordered off of I think I yeah I think I ordered that one off of the um collector's cash from the states or something like that because I had store credit there or something like that and then the last one um or the <clears throat> most recent one I think I got from a collection magic key beast um that had a bunch of sealed product in it and that was one of the items that i decided to open and i pulled iris in it so um yeah this is my fifth box and i'm obviously hoping for stardust but i will take any of the starlight rares It'd be awesome to pull another one to add to my count we are on to the last two packs of the right side again short video unless we pull a starlight somehow this will be maybe like eight minutes long uh amazement assistant delia and last two packs on the right side i think we'll do one more ultra no where we've got both her ultras from this side already so b trooper armor horn and a bunch of common bulk I really wish that uh, Konami made commons, like, somewhat decent, like, rather than, like, five cent cards. I know they're commons for a reason, but it'd just be cool to see commons and supers have some purpose other than being bulk. I don't know, I feel like they're not, not a lot of commons are used in regular play. Maybe they are, maybe I'm just lost, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Stardust, where are you at? Magic Key, Dragon, Andram Andrabame? Yeah, not a lot of these modern cards have the greatest artwork, in my opinion. Which is why they had to reprint Stardust in a different rarity. It'd be cool to see um, some older cards, Trickstar Festival, in like alternate arts, along with the new rarities. That'd be really cool. But Yu-Gi-Oh! does a really good job with creating new rarities for cards, rather than creating new artworks all the time um, for the same card. There are certain cards that do get quite a few alternate artworks, including like Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Red Eyes, um, Dark Magician, but other cards don't really get that same treatment, which is really unfortunate. It'd be really cool to see. Giant Bee Trooper, Invincible Atlas, our first ultra on the left side. But yeah, like, I mean, even something like Elements of Your Flame Wingman, it has a bunch of different rarities at this point in time, like Ultimate Rare, Prismatic in the TC, in the OCG. Um, I'm sure they have, there's a bunch of other rarities in the OCG um, as well for this specific card. But then in the TCG, there's also the um, Secret Rare from Legendary Collection DX. There's the regular Rare from uh, Raw Yolo Mega Pack. There's the Super Rare from um, Duelist Pack 1. And what else is there? <clears throat> there's a there's a few different rarities for it. There's the Ultra from TLM, obviously. And I'm sure there's a common printing of it as well, maybe in like one of the hero decks at some point in time. Or another Duelist Pack, maybe. I don't know. There's also a Dual Terminal rarity, which is pretty neat. Oh, Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Okay, so this is the cover card, but not the Starlight Rare version, unfortunately. I mean, this would be a beautiful Starlight Rare as well. Not the card that I, you would want in Starlight Rare from the set. You would want Stardust in Starlight Rare, but pretty cool to see nonetheless. I actually... Oh, no, this is technically like my sixth box of Dawn of Majesty because um, I got Yugi Song to actually open up a box for me. And um, he pulled the same card, actually. Let me just see if it's here somewhere. I feel like it is. Yeah, there it is. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. A little off-centered for this copy, but pretty cool nonetheless. And um, yeah, he actually pulled three secrets from that one box for me, which was really, really cool to see. Could have been an error box, because usually you only get two secrets per box. But let's see if we can pull the Starlight Rare. No. We're almost there, guys. We have five packs left. Can we pull Shooting Majestic Star Dragon or Stardust Dragon in Starlight Rare? Those are the ones I want the most. Stardust, obviously, because valuable, but also just for collection goals, it'd be amazing to have another Starlight. Oh, Stardust Illumination. Speaking of Stardust, that's a beautiful card. I actually really like that. Any card featuring... Like, another card making a cameo in a card like this, specifically, that's just beautiful. Like, the way the they're they're floating in the galaxy there, in the night sky. Beautiful card. Big fan of that. I take it back. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of 99% of modern card artwork. How about that? Let's go with that. And, uh, yeah, so we're not really doing any more ultras or secrets, unfortunately. But we have a chance at pulling a starlight still with these last two packs. Wish me luck, guys. Leave a like. May the heart of the cards be with me here. Uh, nope. Link Apple. I want to see that starlight outline of the border. Last pack from this box, guys. It's been a decent box. Not the greatest. Again, it's, it's kind of financial suicide to be purchasing these boxes at this point in time to try to pull starlights because that's just not going to happen, really. Especially with loose boxes that you don't really know the source of. Um, this specific box I got from a store before they sold out of theirs, but, uh, it does not look like there's a starlight here, unfortunately. We have a Despian Comedy. Um, but yeah, in general, guys, not a good idea to open up these boxes to chase starlights. Um, maybe when they're first released, I think it's a better idea because a lot of the secrets would have been worth a lot more money back then. But now with reprints and, uh, all that stuff, it's just not worth it at all. Um, I probably made five bucks back from this from a $60 box, like 60, 60 US dollar box. Um, so not the greatest investment, um, but again, it's sometimes you got to do it for fun and for the chase. And uh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. 
Two Starlights out of six boxes of Dawn of Majesty. This set does like me quite a bit, and uh, I will leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you all soon. Um, subscribe for more, and uh, leave a like. Peace.